Hello my friends, welcome to Hey Yoga. This class is a part of four session series on yoga for detox. It's on all level, half a yoga sequence mixed in with some dynamic movements to benefit both from long haul posture and a strong flow of blood and breath circulation. This sequence is orientated around stimulating the organs and spine through deep twist, side bends and other spinal movements. If you have yoga blocks and belt, have it handy. Props brings more ease, therefore we can focus more easily where we want to bring our attention and make the posture more effective in relation to our intention with this series. But if you don't have them, don't worry about it, it still works. I would like to start the series from a place of knowing that detoxification is our body's natural ability. Here, we are not manipulating the body to squeeze the toxin out. We are stimulating the body to support its detoxification. And guess what? Quality support comes from quality listening. So listen closely, tenderly, and give enough current to our body to jumpstart the process. Let's do this. Let's start in standing position. Have your feet um, hip wide distance. And as you inhale, reach your arms all the way up over your head. And as you exhale, let's gently fold forward. You're welcome to bend your knees. Once again, I really encourage you, for you to breathe deeply through your abdomen so that we are, that we keep our attention in our abdomen and along the spine to bring circulation into our organs. And with next inhalation, bend your knees a little bit, reaching your arms up, coming into chair position. So here your belly is not relaxed nor it's pushed out. Gently pull your belly in while you're feeling the strength along your spine. Open your shoulders a little bit so that it's your whole back that is in a gentle contraction. We're going to repeat this few more times, forward fold and a chair position. As you exhale, fold forward, pull the belly in, but without tensing your belly. One more deep breath into your abdomen. And as you inhale, coming into chair position and few breaths. Deep breathing from your abdomen. And one more time, fold forward. So let your abdomen take the center stage of your attention. You will probably feel, you are probably be feeling the back of your leg and also the traction in your back, but not, neither of them are too overpowering in this experience so that most of your attention is locked in with your breath and with your abdomen. As you inhale, coming into chair position once again, and a few breaths here. One more deep breath into your abdomen. And as you inhale, reach up all the way. And as you exhale, let's sit all the way down and lie down on your back. We're coming into half bridge pose, have your feet hip wide distance, heels underneath your knees. And then as you inhale, raise your hips. So here, if you have block, place your block 
right underneath your sacrum, not your low back, but your sacrum, beginning of your um, uh, buttocks. And if you don't have block, you can just place your hands underneath and have your forearm as straight perpendicular to the floor as possible. But that also requires flexibility in your back and also the shoulder. If that is not possible for you, no problem. Interlock your fingers, heels with the palm together, pushing your arms against your hips. We just want to have that height. So whether it's supported or not supported, half bridge pose. Let's meet in half bridge pose. And we're gonna spend a bit of time here and our attention will be once again with our abdomen. Breathing deeply from your abdomen. Few more breaths. As you breathe, imagine and actually feel, sense that you are accessing different cavity, different parts, space within your abdomen to all these corners around your rib cage, around your hip bone. One more deep breath. Okay, with next exhalation, let's slowly bring the hips down. As you bring your hips down, elongate your spine as that was uh, quite long to stay up. Soften your hips. <sighs> and let your knees lean gently to each other to relax your belly and to relax your hips. Just for one more breath before we continue with twist and now have your arms stretched out to the side both arms I'll just do with one side so I have a limited space here but your both arms, arms are stretched out to the side and have your um, feet off the floor, knees 90 degree, hips 90 degree. Keep your legs together and slowly lower your legs down, your knees down to your right side. So we are in lying down position, twisting, knees to the right, head to the left. Both shoulders on the floor. Deep abdominal breathing while chest stays broad and wide. So this is not necessarily a, a really deep twist for everyone. And yet through your breath, you can still reach really deeply you can reach deep in your abdomen one more breath here and then let's continue to the other side bring your knees to your chest as you bring your legs up in that way, it will be less strong, a bit easier for your lower back. And let's continue to the other side. Let's lower the legs down to your left this time. As you do that, turn the head to your right side. Have your knees aligned with your hips and feet aligned with your knees. And again, however deep or soft, gentle twist this is for you, attention to your breath and go a little deeper. 
through your breathing, reach a little deeper in the space of your abdomen, in the space of your awareness. next inhalation bring your knees to your chest and then bring the legs back up to the center now let's straighten stay in lying down, lying down position straighten your right leg away from you and have your left foot crossed over to your right leg on the other side outside of your right knee with your left foot and then be twist one more time to the right side for most of the people, this will be a deeper twist. You can assist your left knee with your right hand. Just make sure you don't bring your left knee too high up to the chest. They can actually cancel a bit of a um, um, twist and link towards your leg and into your hips. Once again, attention to your breathing. So when I say attention to your breathing and attention to your abdomen, use your breath as an extension of your eyes and your hands. So you reach to a certain depth through a posture, a certain depth of uh, layers and the sensation within your abdomen. And from there, we go a little bit deeper with breathing. And as you go deeper, you feel different sensations. You also feel that you have more, let's say, awareness, understanding, view of your abdominal area. And with next inhalation, coming back to the center. Oh, that was a deep twist. Oof. Oh. Coming back gently and continue to the other side. Right foot over. At the knee level, at your left knee level, twist to your left. Head turn to the right. Don't worry about your right knee touching the floor. It's, that is really not important. Find a twist, twisted posture here where that can, where that gives you enough sensations. And, but not too intense so that you can still drive your attention instead of uh, being just captured by what the sensation that is taking place. Let there be an option for where you pay your attention instead of getting stuck. One more breath into your abdomen. slowly coming back feet together knees together and bring your feet as close as possible to your hips make sure your low back is flat now your spine is long relax your belly and then slowly keeping your belly relaxed bring your knees away from each other And let's place the hands around the hips and your abdomen. With the, the help of the hand, once again, bringing our attention to this part of our body. Feel the breath moving. 
physically, not only through your internal perception from your belly, but also through your hands. Feel how the breath, how your abdomen is pushing out against your hand and how it gently sinks in. So having this external view, view from your hand and an internal view from your abdomen of this experience. And let's gently bring the knees together. Bring your knees to your chest. Hold the back of your thigh and gently rock front and back and front and back to come to seated position. And let's have the, the left leg stretched out and the right knee bent. Make sure you're sitting on uh, your both sitting bones. Bringing your both arms up. Try to sit up as straight as you can, right on top of your sitting bones. If that is not possible for you, if you find yourself you need to hunch, then bend your left knee a little bit and try to sit up as straight as possible. So taking out that hamstring flexibility a little bit out. Okay, now from here, have, um, yes, have your left hand reaching across your right waist and your right arm over your head towards your left foot. Whether your left knee is bent or straight, press your left heel against the floor very strongly. Still really being on top of your sitting bone so that it becomes the side bend rather than a bit of a mixture of forward and the side bend. Grounding your right side of your sitting bone. Breathing into your belly. And feel your abdomen and your side pushing gently against your left hand that is wrapped around your waist. With next inhalation, arms first coming up and then the rest. Oh, change the foot, change the leg. Once again, make sure you're sitting on both sitting bones, arms reaching up all the way. Right arm across, reaching your left waist and left arm over, so ready here. Try and do not go forward, stay right on top of your sitting bone, left arm over the head, not front of your face, over the head. They don't need to, your hand do not need to touch the toe. That's not, that is so not really in the picture. Um, um, that, how to say, that is really not important. That is so not important. If it reach, it reach. If it doesn't reach, it doesn't reach. But where we are focusing now is our abdomen. That's what is important. Of course, there are so many possibilities of where to give our attention. This time we decided we choose to give our attention to our abdomen. And that's what we're doing. So breathing into your right hand, expanding that waist, expanding that side. Keep the left elbow up. It will help you to be on your side rather than in your forward. As you inhale, arms first and bring the rest of the body to the center. Have your feet together and bring your feet a little bit away from you so that your legs are um, a bit like in a diamond shape. And 
from here go ahead and hold your feet around your toes and as you inhale gently lift up your chest and as you exhale let's fold forward and again your attention to your belly and not just your the front side of your belly but also the back side and your spine relax your head ground your sitting bones press your outer edge of your feet against the floor Deep breath into your belly. Three breaths here to finish the sequence. One more breath. Thank you for joining me on this video. Recognizing and welcoming goodness is important and so it is the ability to reject and refuse what is not good for you. So this is my question for this series. Where in your life or relationship to um, relationship do you need to draw a clearer boundary? Comment below if you like this video, give a thumb up and subscribe to my channel for weekly yoga practice. I wish you a beautiful day and see you soon. Keep shining on.